Hello, welcome to you all. Now in this video, we are going to explain the function of the flag registers of 8086 microprocessor. Now at the very first video, we have explained the basic features of 8086 microprocessor including all its registers. So here you can find that the registers of 8086 can be divided into five different groups starting from general purpose registers, then segment register, then pointers, index registers and the last one is flag register. So today we are going to explain this one. So just like all the registers in 8086, flag register is also 16 bit register. Now the first difference here that we can find here with respect to 8085 is that 8086 has 9 flags. These 9 flags are of 2 different categories, their functions are 2 different. So that is why these 9 flags once again into categorized into 2 different parts. One is called condition flag or status flag and the one is called machine control flag. Now in condition flag we have basically 6 flags carry, parity, auxiliary carry, zero and sign. So these 5 is known to us because we have already studied about these 5 in 8085 microprocessor. So here only one flag is added or extra that is O, O means overflow. So in case of condition or status flag we have 6 different flags out of which 5 is known to us. The function of these 5 flags that we know in case of 8085 is quite similar in case of 8086 also. Only one extra condition or status flag is available that is called overflow flag. And in case of machine control flag, we have three different flags that is DIT, D for direction, I for interrupt, T for trap. So as already I have said that the length of this flag register is of 16 bit. So here we can find I have drawn the 16 bits of this flag register out of which the beginning 5 or the LSB portion of this particular register has the same orientation that we have in case of 8085. So you should remember in case of 8085 also the bit 0 was carry then it was parity then it was auxiliary carry then 0 then sign. So the first 8 bit of 8086 flag register is exactly same that we have studied in case of 8085. Now the MSB bit or the MSB portion of this register is something different. Here we can find 4 extra that is O, D, I and T O is the overflow, direction, interrupt and trap. For O is the condition flag and D, I, T is the status flag. Now let's get into their functions. So first one is carry flag. So carry flag will become set means 1 only when the result returns a carry. So already we know whenever we are performing some arithmetic operations maybe addition, subtraction or something like that in case if after doing that arithmetical operation if the result returns a carry or in case of subtraction if the result returns a borrow then carry flag becomes set. P is the parity flag the second one so parity flag becomes one only when the lower byte of the result because we know the result might be a 16 bit one so the lower byte of the result contains even number of one so if the lower byte has even number of one then only parity flag becomes one so here we don't need to consider about the whole 16 bit we will consider only the lower byte of the result and we will check whether it has even number of one or not so it's basically a even parity checker number three is auxiliary carry so in case of auxiliary carry this flag will become set or one only when the lower nibble nibble means four bit so lower nibble can be this one bit zero one two and three so this 4 bit can be called as the lower nibble. So when lower nibble returns a carry, then auxiliary carry flag becomes 1. 
So we need to remember during some arithmetical operations, if d2 bit, sorry, d3 bit returns a carry or passes a carry to bit d4, then auxiliary carry becomes 1. This is normally used in case of BCD operations. Now, next one is 0, that is Z flag. So Z flag becomes 1 only when the result is 0. So the function of the 0 flag is very simple because by default the registers can contain 0 and in certain cases after performing arithmetic or logical operation the result can be 0. So to make a differentiate between these two different kinds of 0, the 0 flag is used. So after performing some arithmetic operations, if result becomes 0, then 0 flag will be 1. <clears throat> the next one is sign flag. So that is also known in case of 8085. I am repeating it once again. So sign flag becomes 1 only when the result is negative. So should remember in this way. So sign flag becomes 1 when the result is negative. When the result is positive, sign flag will be 0. Now the first new one is overflow flag. What is overflow? We need to remember here, it is applicable for signed integers only. So overflow flag will come into picture only when we are dealing with signed integers or signed operations. So now during signed operations, suppose we are performing some addition, multiplication or subtraction kind of arithmetic operations. So then it might happen that after performing some arithmetic operations, the result become larger than the size of the register itself. So if that happens, then that extra bit is called as overflow. So to remember, we can say in this way, in case of signed integers, if there is a carry, then we can call that extra bit is like overflow. So you should remember in this way, though it is not the exact definition, but you should remember in this way. So I'm repeating it once again. During the signed integers, suppose we are performing arithmetic operation like addition between two signed integers and the result becomes larger than the size of the, of the register itself. Suppose I want to store the result within x or bx. So their size is 16 bit. And in case of signed integers, we know the length of the signed integer will be 15 bit because the MSB bit is always reserved to indicate whether the integer is a positive one or a negative one. So after addition between two 15 bits of information or numbers, if the result becomes more than 15, then it is difficult to accommodate that result within the specified register. So that extra bit, something like the extra bit of carry is called as overflow flag. So when overflow occurs, then overflow flag becomes 1, just to indicate that one extra bit has been generated due to the arithmetic operation. The next one is direction flag. So direction flag is this one, bit number 10. So here we need to remember it is used by string manipulation instructions. We will explain that one in the upcoming videos, what is string manipulation instruction. So we have to remember here, it is applicable or becomes usable only when we are dealing with string manipulation instructions. Now direction flag will become zero when the processor works into auto incrementing mode means means we are proceeding or the processor is proceeding from lower addresses to higher addresses. Then this is called auto incrementing mode and the reverse one if the processor goes from higher addresses to lower address during the string manipulation operation, then direction flag becomes 1. So the value of direction flag, whether it is 0 or 1, it basically defines a direction on which the processor is basically working, whether it goes into auto incrementing mode or it goes into auto decrementing mode. The next one is I that is interrupt flag that is once again a new thing in Azure 6 and it is also a machine control flag. What it does? Now interrupt flag is 1 or become set. Then maskable interrupts. Maskable interrupt means we already know that 
those interrupts which cannot be delayed is called non maskable interrupt so maskable means these interrupt requests can be delayed for certain amount of time so if this flag becomes one then maskable interrupts gets recognized by the processor so when the interrupt flag is one then maskable interrupt means all those interrupts which can be delayed for certain amount of time depending upon their priority and so many things so those kind of interrupts gets recognized by cpu and last one is the t that is the trap flag so when trap flag becomes set or one only when the processor enters into single step execution mode so that means when trap flag is one processor executes one instruction after another one step by step execution is there so these are the function of total 9 flags of 8086 thank you